What's going on guys? My name is Pray for Mercy. For those of you who don't know me, I make money making methods three times a week and also have a Slayer series on Saturdays. Now, this is going to be an AFK magic money making method that does require at least a level 37 magic and also a lectern. Now, you can go to a house party world where they do have a lectern, but I actually have a lectern of my own. Now, this money making method does require you to have soft clay in your inventory, aka noted because over here we have this guy named Files, as I always we said in my other videos files will convert your noted items into unnoted and you can actually get him to do it for, for five coins each but you can get him to do it all in one shot so i can do 125 but since we're going to be occupying one space it's going to be 120 per inventory which is actually pretty nice so if you guys don't know what electron is we're going to go ahead and go into my house i will show you what electron is in my own house so this right here guys is a lectern. Now a lectern is used to create anything from bones to bananas, bones to peaches, and also enchanting tablets as well. But obviously they are mostly used for bones to bananas, bones to peaches, and also for teleport tabs, aka all these bad boys. Now for the items that I have in my inventory, I do have a mist staff, which does create the water and air runes, which does help me make the Falador tablets, which does only cost me about yeah 237 GP as of this video. So a Falador tablet is worth 435 GP minus 237, which equals to 198 GP in profit per tablet made as of this video. Now that is pretty nice in my opinion and we should be able to make a decent profit and also gain some decent AFK magic without even looking at the screen for too long. So let's begin. Got my stopwatch ready here, guys. Gonna head put it to one hour. And we're gonna go ahead and start in three, two, one. Let's go. I would also like to say if you guys have any suggestions for another future video, don't be shy. Go ahead and leave a comment in the bottom section below. And I always answer to any of you guys who have any questions, feel free to ask. And there we have it, guys. One solid hour after this annoying beeper is going off here. Go ahead and pause that. And let's go ahead and check out how much I made. So after one solid hour, guys, we managed to make 1057 Falador teleports. Now, what does that accumulate and what is that worth? So, obviously, we gotta click in the raw ingredients, which I did have extras for, which is obviously pretty good for us to see the true value. Now, the value of the coins, I only used 5,285 GP because that's how much it costs to unnote them all, which is pretty significantly cheap, which is pretty nice. So, in total, guys, we have 255,794 GP as of this video that we used to make the Falador teleports. Now, bear in mind, I have a staff that allowed me to have unlimited air and unlimited waters which is pretty convenient for us so now the true value here is we made about 450,282 GP as of this video and we also walked away with 50,800 experience in magic XP which is pretty nice for us and in total guys after we deduct all of these prices that we have here which is 450,282 GP minus 255,794 GP equals a total of 194,488 GP in profit. Now, if that's not good, I don't know what to tell you because you get 50,000 XP in magic AFK and you walk away with 200K in profit. So that is pretty nice. Valador teleports are very common, such as teleporting to Verrock and I think Camelot are Camelot teleports are kind of like not to go with I guess and we'll let that sit there for a bit and we'll come back to it after guys. And after about three hours later guys these bad boys sold. Don't fall for the tricks that you gotta sell it for low price. You can still make a profit if you're patient enough like I am and I actually managed to sell these bad boys. Hell yeah. Now hopefully you guys like this video like comment and subscribe as always pray for mercy is out and I'll see you guys in the next video.